now. He's got a lot of setups to help with that Gordo in neutral. Yeah, that makes sense. So, it's definitely it not better in this game. Ah, we've replaced the snake? big king with Snake. Big of course. Snake. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, surely that's a canon version of Snake. Big Snake. Big Snake. <laughs> Metal King. I've never played a Metal Gear game, I'm sorry. The references are gone. Oh, no. They're All definitely right, on the to-do list, but they're not not today. I've only played one at a time. Oh! Oh! He just murdered him! What surprised me so hard there was he got through with the up air before the nade even got in the way. That was super surprising. Yeah. Like, really, some really tight hitboxes. They're, like, really good. Up air's got such a funky property where it's really hard to DI it. It kind of just sends you straight up. You kind of can't yeah. influence that move at all. Oh, that, that was, was a great match. match. Oh! Yeah, that's so. Wow, that's really, really good for. Um, ooh, really good for. Nice. Cognizant of the grenade man. What? Okay, there we go. Got the trap. Oh, did all just like went right in. But yeah, um, as I was saying, wow, that's really good for Ridley. Ridley yeah. Was, like an off smash through the platforms and like just shocking potential from Ridley in general is just insane. I didn't want like, to get too anecdotal, but basically every Ridley I've ever played has said this stage is nuts for this character. Yeah. Like, surprisingly, we have like three Ridley mains in Queensland. Like, what? And one's on right. like top five PR. We can't get complacent here because we are fighting Snake, the never yeah. out character. That's a really good match, actually. Yeah, Dog's got a fantastic match. Oh, real on the roll. Run nice. back That's the Rindy classic. I think Rindy actually does have a decent way to get around Nikita. That's a fair um, enough trade, I think. 86 is fine. Yeah. Oh, that was a, oh, nice. There you go. That was a great landing punish. I feel like he could have converted off Snake blowing himself up with a nade with an up air if he jumped instead of roll, but either way, he got the job done, so it's all good. That stage felt like good for both characters, but I still yeah. feel like I feel like Snake would want more space to land. Even though Lilat's good for Snake, I feel like being unable to get to the floor is like the biggest problem here. Oh, yeah, it definitely was like really good at abusing that um his stage knowledge over door. Yeah, like that was probably what just shined through that match. I was just still abusing the fact that. He's so good at Lila with that character. See a Microsoft on the door, probably. What do we think we're banning here? FD Town Kalos seem like really sensible bands, but. Yeah, we got Mario. We got Mario? Do the Mario. Character that's really broken, all I <laughs> nah. Character that's really broken, end of sentence. Yeah, end of sentence. I love how people are like, oh, Mario's mid here at the start of this game. Yep. Where were we wrong? God damn it, Dark Wizzy. Mario just feels really funky because I feel like his dash is really long. Or like longer, like it's longer than it was in Smash 4, so it feels really weird. Yeah. But here we go. Got an insane advantage state where if you get one hit, you're basically up there for like a solid 10 seconds still. Nothing changed. A really good mash on these side bees. I feel like the last time we saw Diddle play, oh, Space Pirate Rush, Pirate Space Rush, whatever, side B was a huge tool in the matchup. But Dork's not giving him any room to breathe with that move. And and Ooh, that felt slow. Yeah, maybe a bit of lag in there. Oh, two? First time we've seen that. No jump on the Mario. Electifiable. Nice. Ooh, very good at catching landing. Good there, F tilt. I love F tilt. He holds his tail and uses it like a stick. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh, oh, oh unlucky. Yeah. I feel like he could have oh, milked the hit stun on that second up there. And yeah, no, absolutely. Trying to get. Oh, that light probably didn't help. But either way. We're back on stage. Yeah, we're back. 
We're back to playing some scramble. That was a really good angle. I like I like that attempt at that conversion. Going for that dab would have like absolutely just killed it all there. Surprisingly, I haven't really actually seen many ledge traps by Dork. It seems like he's just comboing him up into the air and trying to catch a landing. Yeah. Um, but Diddle's been pretty decent at landing. Um, oh, this counter pressure is great though. Oh, oh, that was a jab walk opportunity. Oh, he might have been able to like maybe slide off that ledge. It was maybe a bit too close. That was a good beefy as well, actually. Yeah. Diddle has to clean this up ASAP. There you and go. That's, that's, <laughs> the window of Mario. that's like the Australian Mario special where you, you just land with fireballs. Hey, it's good. No, don't knock it till you try it. I mean, I like to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was a great conversion from that forward air. Yeah. Drifted into him with the dare. So it yeah. made it really hard to, like, uh, correctly DI. Because if Mario full hop dares in place, and you DIing for the previous move, you can kind of get away and kind of DI into the corner. And but like, if Mario kind of goes straight for full hop there and fades into you with it, it, it sends you basically straight up. It's yeah. super hard to get away from. Another thing I noticed about like the interaction between these particular characters is that when Ridley uses full charge neutral B as like a projectile off stage, and Mario capes it, he capes the first ball into the second ball, and then they both disappear, and then the last three just go bang, 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 and they hit him. It's super weird. It's such a weird projectile. I feel like not a lot of characters have a projectile like Ridley. It's super weird. Yeah. It's good though. And they don't have any knockback. They just stop you in your tracks. It's really weird. That's what makes it good. Honestly, a projectile that does that is a lot more annoying than... One that has knockback attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like laser. 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 Yeah. laser is so annoying. <laughs> so annoying, especially on Wi-Fi. All right, we're going for the wild ride. And we're back on Lila, which is very interesting, considering how game one went. Oh. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh. Hey, he's gone. Oh, no. Good shot. Yeah, that off smash catch pretty much every tech opportunity. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. My oh my I didn't God. realize why is the roof so short on this seal? That was a conversion of landing fireball. That's what I'm saying. Land with fireball. What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's working out. So, where was this Mario? I don't understand why we saw Snake. I'm very confused. Come on, Diddle. We can get something. Oh, he's, he's, he's definitely making it work. Nice. Oh, they all hopped over. They all hopped over Mario. Yep, there you go. One space that F smash is pretty safe. Good parry. Here comes. Oh, a great arrow to shield. Nice grab. I feel like you're fine. Great coverage mm -hmm. at that there. Fishing that rollback. Fighting Mario is so weird because I feel like. You're not dead until you're dead, kind of energy. All the red spots on that kill as well. So, got nice, a hashtag. major comeback to do, but he can still pull it off. This is one of Ridley's best patients, oh, and no. then there we go. That was unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he tried to just do a dash back there. But Based it was down a wall. It's very scary. Yeah. Dash back that turned into a walk, which turned into Sus Di. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah.